Ah, yes, people, we're back once again with another Matt's Day vlog. It is Everton at home, and we've got the new fresh buzz cut, uh, which probably a lot of you haven't seen, because I know there's people that just watch these Match Day vlogs that haven't seen this yet. Oh, it's so wet. It is so, so wet. But look, honestly, what's going on with Everton at the moment? Why do they keep beating us at home? I mean, the last time was 5-1. Can we get a result today? I hope so, man. I hope so. Paul, we've had our first little chats, and uh, what do you reckon? Everton today struggled against them last time, 5-1. Hate to remind you, but what's happening, Paul? I don't, I don't think the Zerbi's going to set us up the same way as last time, because we'd be, we'd be predictable if we'd done that, and I think they got a bit of a shock. I see us turning in 3-0. Well, one more question I have to ask is, in CISO, is he going to be on the field today playing? I think he, in CISO is the ticket to save our season, personally. Yeah. He comes back. If he comes back, he's getting the third. Big stuff, big news. Appreciate it, Paul. Thank you very much, man. It is printed at Sushi. Oh, I see. Oh, my friends, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. Really appreciate it. And they've got me some gifts from Japan. I really appreciate that, guys. And what do you reckon? Score prediction today? Score prediction? 3-0 for, for Brighton. Yeah. 5-1 yeah. to Brighton. Yeah. And I think I think um, a 5-1 as well. What do you reckon today, my friend? Uh, I, I think 3-1 to Albion. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 
okay. a little bit in it in Italy. Right. Because he said in his press conference that De Rossi is one of his friends. Ooh, so it might, might be interesting, might be a little bit tasty, eh? Well, Kai, let's get an Up the Albion to end this interview off. Up the Albion! The sun has come out onto the face. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Right, here we go then. School predictions for today is going to be a whopping 2 0. Like I've said in the interviews, I'm snapping with a lot of people today, so let's see if we can do it. 2 0 to the Albion. Le bus. To Brighton Home Albion. Jeez. Simon Adingra. <laughs> Big applause for Simon Adingra coming back after winning the African Nations. Everton fans, quite a few of them today. Like a real few of them. Oh, go on, have a shot, Lanty. Oh, he had a go, he had a go. Oh. One minute. Oh, Lanty. Oh. Oh. Corner again, it's like a third corner now. Oh, hey. oh, follow it, follow it, it, follow it. No, it's not, it's going to go wide. Oh, my goodness. Danny, 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 keep going. He's on there, Decore. Well done. There's a roll. There's a roll. Everton, there it is. How did I not go in? Well back again. How did that not go in? Go on. Oh, yes. They're, they're getting all of these headers, but they're not headering it in any corner. It's just at the goalkeeper, yeah. straight out Jordan Bickford. All of them. <sighs> Set pieces, man. It just. Neil. Before Oh. And there was Calvert Lewin waiting to poach right at the last minute of the first half. Second half action on the way for you in around about 15 minutes time. See goes, see goes, see goes. Jordan Pickford. Oh. Off it goes. Ooh. Got some spice in it, we got some spice in it. Love it. Oh, Nadingra, do it for us. Nunes! Oh no! I don't know, I don't know if that's handball. Come on! Is this a Premier League banner? Corrupt. Yeah, Premier League corrupts. There we go, it's the first one. First one I've seen today. Not surprised to see one of them, at least. One in purpose. Oh! Oh! I mean. It's different. It's different. Gross. Gross. Oh, oh, oh! No. Yes, yes, Matty! No! Bonanotte! Really? No. Alright, who's next then? Who wants to shoot next then? Anything but the goal. Yes, here he is. I'm so. Need you know, boys. Substitution for the Albion coming off number 14. me. What a worldie. What a goal. We've seen it coming. Honestly, I've seen it coming. Oh my goodness me. Look at the away end. Look at them. Fighting for survival. 10 point deduction. And now in the lead at the Amex Stadium. Once again, possibly for the second time. Oh, it's awful. That is why in the Premier League you need to get a goal because you never know when it, you, the opposition are going to score. They can score any time and they have there. We've had so many opportunities to score. Take, haven't taken any of our chances. It's a good goal. I've got to respect it. 
look for that away end though. Jeez. Was recorded. Are you absolutely kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Why not? Work for it! No! No referee! No! Absolutely ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! Here you go, there's the free space. There it is. No. Yeah! People I leave early miss all the action at the end. That's why you don't leave early, people. There it is. There it is. Yeah, a little bit anticlimax at the end. Oh. To be fair to them, that away end was rocking today. Fair play to you, Everton fans that watch this video. You lot did alright with atmosphere today, you definitely brought it up. Fair play. Alright then boys, we're here after the game. We spoke before the game, 2-0. I said 2-0. John said 3-1. Ended at a 1-0. Disappointed. Bit upset with that really, that we didn't get the three points. Considering the amount of opportunities we had, do you think we could have really got the three points out of this one? Yeah, from how we've been um, performing lately, I thought obviously yeah. we could get the win. It's Everton, not a very... Dodgy, you know, dodgy team against us, aren't it's Sean Dyche, isn't it? Burnley, yeah. a couple of seasons ago, 3-1, Everton yeah. last season. I feel like um, we always beat them away and they always beat us at home. Yeah. That's been the... It's, it's a bit, it's bit of one of those things. Obviously, uh, John, what, what do you think about the game, first of all? Take our chances a bit more. Uh, we, can't, we, had them, we had all the chances, but we could not finish. Yeah. Same with the sex, first bit of the second half. I could tell they were going to score. They were looking threatening on the counter-attacks when they were on the counter-attacks. Yeah. It was a great finish, to be fair. But Dunkey helped us in the end and it was a great header. Yeah, good stuff. But obviously Billy Gilmore challenge. I've now had a look at it with you boys. Think it was a red? Well, I think it's a soft red, but yeah. yeah. Red, yeah. Obviously with his studs up in the air. Obviously it looked a 50-50, didn't it? It didn't look like a red card, did it, John? No, yeah, I thought it was a good 50-50, but when he walked straight down the tunnel, I thought he knew that it was a straight red. But, yeah. And it's going to be a big miss for the next three games, I think, because he has helped us out a lot. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, a uh, return of Nciso. How do you feel, Josh, about Nciso coming back? Did you feel the energy that he was bringing? Yeah, brilliant. Um, I don't think it's, he didn't perform at his best today. I don't think he was all yeah. right, but I feel like everyone was like that. Defo, boys, appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. Right then, here we are for the very last part of this match day vlog, where we talk a little bit about the game and my thoughts on it. Disappointed? Yeah. Pretty disappointed to be honest. I think generally we could have ended the game at the first half. We controlled it at the start. I don't understand why we can't get these early goals. We struggle to get early goals at the moment and to be honest I think if we did get an early goal it would have changed the game drastically. I think it would have also prevented Billy Gilmore's red card because realistically Billy Gilmore there had the passion to try and get the ball, trying to fight forward and we're leaving it to the last minute to be desperate to score a goal. We let them have a goal for us to suddenly bring the motivation, bring you know the confidence to go forward and I don't really get it I don't get it to be honest but honestly if we scored today earlier would have prevented the whole red card would have prevented a lot of it to be honest so seem to struggle to put that ball in the back of the net another guy as well I'm not just saying this before you guys say oh he's angry that's why he's going to be picking on Ferguson but I've got to talk about Ferguson because he has not been performing very well recently at all and I don't know what's going on with him it's hard to tell he just hasn't 
found his form recently. Like, he's been struggling, hasn't he? I mean, I I'm sure you guys can agree down in the comments, but it is what it is. It's a one-all again against Everton. It's another another frustrating game against them. We so can't crack them. We just cannot crack them. Anyways, for the Everton fans watching, though, respect to you guys. You guys brought a fantastic atmosphere. Really, really good. Brought the noise, and um, I was impressed. I was impressed. But anyway, guys, look, this is all I've got to say for the end of this video. You guys know what to do, eh? Eh? Subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on. Like the video if you have enjoyed. And, well, this is your boy again, Luton East Brighton. And I'll see you in the next one. Bash!